quickly. At the same time, though, um, TNC, great axe pick, in my opinion. Should be very easy to get multiple hero calls in this game. You're playing against four melee heroes. So, mm -hmm. should prove to be very strong. Actually, XY, is he just dead? Yep. All right, he's just dead. He says, well, here's a little bit of a freebie. We gave you a tough game one. Let's make it a bit more even game two. Just feeds mid. Didn't get the uh, didn't get the role he wanted this game. <laughs> building the kind of early game that their lineup wants. It's yeah, they just the, the difference between their two safe men is this anti mage compares to the slark. Night and day at the moment. Life may get a little easier for Raven once he hits the six. But even if that uh, he could he, die before that. Yeah, you know, we're gonna see Tim's try and come in to, to maybe help out a bit, but he himself has to be careful. It's one of the tree. Oh, X Y actually got tricked. There. Oh, that is a really big kill. Yeah, Cuckoo comes in with the rotation, the shackle shot to set up for Sam H to get in with the Berserker's call. Cool. More than enough lockdown to bring down Black. Now they'll look to manage to, to get a second one off the back of it as well. Again, the same combo. Very strong. That shackle into the Berserker's. Managing to be a step ahead of Faceless and excelling his teammates to exactly where they want to be, and they're going to look to utilize that straight away with this movement up towards the top lane. They want to catch Black off guard with this Blink Axe. Nuts is nearby. Uh, we'll see if that's going to be anything that they could save him with. They'll throw in a cast, but already Black falling low. And with the dunk, they've done it. TNC are looking very strong at this stage with this Blink Dagger timing. The Courier will be a short distraction, but they'll turn it towards Nuts and looking for the dive behind the tower. Nuts trying to juke his way out of this, but he gets shackled up. And uh, they should be able to finish this one. Ryo surrounds him, makes sure there's no escape. Sam H with the second dunk to bring him down. And meanwhile, elsewhere, Tims was able to find a pickoff onto the tree and protector. Jabs will catch Tims on the retreat out. The spike carap is coming out in time. The Jabs waiting for it to wear off and will find the, the Nyx assassin in return for Nyx taking down the tree. Raindrop, good item. Not good enough, though. Oh yeah, this is this is you. Doesn't work when it's in your stash, though. It's true. He's got to get it out there. Still at home at the moment. Oh, oh no! Oh, that's a freebie. The question is, can Mad Faces do anything to punish it? Uh, only black around. The answer is no. Mid lane, nice shackle into impale from Tim's. Will cause the death of another. Ice 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 being taken down. That is, that's not any old Omni Knight. That's a very big and strong and and an Omni Knight that was on a similar level to Farmer's Raven. Knocking him down, TNC move on to the tier one push, and this it's it's is looking very impressive from them compared to what we saw in game one. TNC have just come to this one with a, a new game plan. The Cuckoo Wind Ranger is yeah. working out perfectly. Th this setup for the team, it's getting the kill every time. It's definitely working. It seems very comfortable. I'm not too big a fan of Wind Ranger in the current patch in the mid lane, um, but Cuckoo's doing a great job so far in this game. And they may get oh, something here. Fall. There's the first setup. Good the overgrowth over will hold him back. The shackle, it won't latch. Even if it did black, he's still got a ways. Pretty tanky at the moment. Oh, Sam H is super dead. Yeah, the burst comes in from Jabs. And one punch brings him down low. The Berserker Skull will buy him sometime with that bonus armor. But Black jumps forward. The Death Ward jumps as well. But Nuts wrapped around from the behind. Raven finds him. They'll look towards Black. Out comes the ult from Ice Ice Ice, protecting the anti mage and allowing Black to turn and fight for more. Beats down onto the Nyx Assassin. They'll get the Crystal Maiden as well. Faceless this time round, heavily punishing TNC. This Wind Ranger is out of mana and he has mana void still. Oh, Black that's going to be a lot huge of damage amount here. of burst. And there oh. we have it, they're flying <laughs> and he doesn't even need to use the mana void. Jabs takes the kill as he tosses Black onto the head of Cuckoo. If it wasn't for Omni Knight, Black wouldn't really have been involved in the game uh, He would have been dead though. He would have just been farming and they wouldn't even try to take his fight. Oh, this is a bait! Jabs jumps in, but immediately Cuckoo turning around. The overgrowth will come through. Catch out too. Ice 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 moving forward to the front lines. They've kept everyone alive so far on faces and they'll get the kill. They bring down the axe. They do lose Tiny. Raven turning up to do the damage. Nuts is being chased down. The pounce forward from Raven not going to connect. And it's actually not going to be able to find the witch doctor. The juice come through. They've shackled up XY, so TNC do find the two kills. Raven wanting to come back in for more. There's a sentry on the high ground. They do see the Slark. Black will start to look to try and to, to burn down the mana. Question whether he can get back in. Does have a mana void. We'll have to repel as well. Cuckoo very low on life on the top lane. Starts to retreat with a win run. We'll go for the TP out. Black's not going to jump for it. We'll stick to the farm. So TNC to get the two kills and uh, are able to bring down Jabs as well. A man that 
It's uh, worth quite a bit, I'd imagine, after the... Lax just jumped forward into this. Oh, no. Can they punish this? Sam H gets the call here with the golems in the neighborhood. There's the stun control from Tim's, and they'll punish that black. Very unfortunate for him there. Blinking forwards to farm, and TNC were in the right position at the right time. Got distracted by the hang. By the hang. Trade Nick's assassin will already TP down towards the bottom. Maybe seeing if they can set up something, and indeed the math TP's coming through faces. Can't take this tower quick enough. So they had to back away. See if Tim's or Raven can get any catch on the way out. Dust is out on to Raven. They split out Black, jumping forward, looking for Tim's. He's repelled up as well, Black. Sam H comes in on the back. Good call onto the Omnia Knight to try and bring him away from the team. Raven pops the Shadow Dance, looks towards XY. The Pounce gets the connection, the Treant's out. Cuckoo moving forward, instantly win running back. as the Death Ward for Nuts, causing issues for TNC. Raven gets beat down, though, by Jabs. The double damage rune coming into play. As huge amounts of physical bursts coming out from this Tiny. Cuckoo tries to run. The Avalanche will hold him in return. Ryo controls the Tiny oh, with the Jabs frostbite. Has a jam. Cuckoo this is big. turns around. It's not going to be enough damage from the Wind Ranger, Tim's looking to see if he can catch anyone out with the stun, but he hasn't actually got any mana, not the availability to get that stun out. Sam H tried for the call, couldn't quite make it in time. When I saw that Axe buyback, I thought he would be able to connect, but he did use his TP previously on the original play, so couldn't connect to the fight in time. That could have been really big if he was able to get to the fight. That's a gem that would have been lost by Jabs. And Certainly a little bit of a wake-up call for TNC, that last fight down on the bottom, black. Getting himself a healthy lead from Raven Slark. Nice, nice, nice. Has some good stuff coming out. This is going to be Guardian Greaves, and he is currently has a. Oh, a black just. No, he didn't get out. He gets sandwiched here by four heroes. I don't know if that's the sandwich or not. Just, just get. Oh, okay. They get more out of this. Bit chaotic. I mean, Cuckoo's looking towards Nuts, and nuts I, is dead. he can't get any sort of escape. The Shackle's there for control, and TNC claim another. We are really seeing just how much damage that they can do, and especially with that Silver Edge uh, hit onto the Anti-Mage, he just melted with the, the Maelstrom procs, no sort of passive magic resistance for him once that touch comes through from the break. Now they're looking for more, Tims will actually get the first stun. Cuckoo gets a beautiful shackle off the creep. Jabs is going to come in and try and save them, but Samich is there with the cool control, dunked down to bring down Ice Ice Ice. And again, TNC pulling together some more of that beautiful coordination we saw from them in the laning stage in the early ganks, and they get the fourth kill as well. They just follow through. Great catch. Cuckoo with some fantastic angles of the shackle shots. And TNC, they never stack they, their stuns. They always make sure that they control heroes for the maximum amount of times. And at this point of the game, it just guarantees them kill after kill. They'll move down the mid lane. 50 seconds with no tiny, no buyback available. Ice 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 is still down for 20 oh, as good well. Call. And again, TNC, they've got so many ways of initiating. And every time there's always someone behind each other to follow up. No this one is left alone in the way that they jump in. This last minute for them was a complete disaster. They, they lost the Anti-Mage, they lose additional heroes immediately after. They're just hemorrhaging kill after kill after kill, trying to help each other dying again and, look and at again. this again, look how deep, deep they dive TNC. This may come back to hurt them though. Immediate death wards drop from Nuts. They'll punish the jump in from Act. Black now looks towards Rio with the Repel on Black. Should have a good job of chasing this one down. Will be held back for the time being by the Frostbite. Yeah, Black, he's not going to commit for it. No. Scared of the, the, still the potential that TNC can turn on him. So they will get at least the Axe with the melee racks. See, a wrap around for TNC. Oh, jump in, misses the stun. Yeah, not going to get lead. And that's going to allow Ice 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 to turn around with the Pearl Jabs. Comes in with the initial avalanche. Frostbite to hold back the tiny Black. Leaves forward, down to the low ground. Tims will be able to back up. Raven pops the BKB, starts to focus towards Jab Samage with the cool control onto Black. Black falling low, tries to blink out, but Tims comes in with a beautiful three man stun. Raven moves on for more. There will be the toss away off the slot, but Cuckoo stands his ground, brings down Jabs as well. Ryo keeping Nuts held back. He's earning down. They'll pick up the Witch Doctor as well here and faces with a fantastic initiation. They're going to get the full team wipe. Cuckoo and Raven ended up chasing down another, and we're pretty much seeing exactly what we were building up to, Sin. The fact that those two BKBs made it so hard for faces to do anything to TNC's two cores. Yeah, Faceless also had a very awkward fight here. They didn't get the Guardian Angel on the Anti-Mage. Uh, Black blinked in following through the Tiny. They could have killed the Nyx right away, actually. Tiny used both his spells on the Nyx, but they didn't mono void him. Just seemed like a bit of miscommunication. Maybe some nerves showing here for Faceless. Doesn't look as crisp as in the first game. Obviously, this game's also closer. It's it's easier to look good in a game where you're stomping already. 
may have to try their best at this high ground defense. TNC looking to smoke up and get into the prime position. And maybe even wrap him through the middle lane and try and enter the base black. Coming forward. Cuckoo, can he get the opening stun? That's the question. He doesn't need to. Sam H is going to be the one to initiate. Can the rest of faces save Black? Black will get the chance to put the Manta Star. Jabs jumped in the back lines, but the shackle from Cuckoo grabs Jabs. Jabs is out and down. The Tiny's dead for 88 seconds. They've lost Sam H. They need to do their best to faces. They're one massive man down. The stun comes through to XY. Raven survives, gets out just in the nick of time with the Silver Edge, and he may be ready to go back in. Two down on faces, Cuckoo jumps forward again with a focus fire and this Maelstrom ripping nuts to pieces. Faceless forced back, XY will buy back in. But Cuckoo just doing so much damage, Jabs was just a free kill on the side of that fight. Sam H may have lost his life, but again it's his plays that just kick off these fights that are definitely going TNC's way unless Faceless can do something big to turn. They'll look towards Cuckoo, but again the wind runs so strong against Faceless's lineup. No way that they can hit through it. And TNC, they do not want to stop the pressure that they've already started to build up against Faces with this fight. 16 stacks at the moment on the essence shift for the Raven Slark. Black trying to make it go on to Cuckoo, but again, the wind run forcing Black to, to just sit there in the moment. And again, with the chain stuns, Eyesight Size cannot throw enough in to save him. Black's down for 90 seconds. Raven picks up XY once again. Double kill for the Slark. And GG is called. We'll be going to a game three as TNC stepped up their play massively here in this game two. The Cuckoo Wim Ranger being pretty much a stroke of genius from draft to execution. He moved around the map perfectly. Sam H with the suicidal initiations paid off at the end of the day. And just a very different TNC to what we saw in game one.